Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. Today, let's take a look at the FM synth built into the Dirty Wave Mate. As you can see here, here's my Raspberry Pi running the Dirty Wave Mate using the Teensy 4.1 connected to its USB port. And this is the FM synth I'm going to talk about today. And I can promise you this will sound really good. Let's go. Here's how to build the Raspberry Pi setup. Your Raspberry operating system needs to be up to date for this to work, so better open that shell and perform a sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get upgrade first. And here I use the Raspi 3 at Teensy 4.1, a 3.5 inch touchscreen, HDMI connector, USB micro cables and a power bank. Let's connect all these things and also plug in the audio cable, then boot and launch the Chromium browser. And then just open the web page shown on screen right now and allow access to the mate. And that's it. You can also press F11 on the keyboard to go full screen. The Raspberry Pi 3B is barely capable of running this configuration and I strongly advise you to minimize the screen resolution and also to keep the browser window as tiny as possible. Let's start with a short introduction on FM synthesis and I won't go into detail here because I've already done a lot of these videos and I'll link them in this video's description or in the comments. In short, in FM you begin with one oscillator and then move in another oscillator which will modulate the sound of the first oscillator. Only the oscillators are called operators here and the operator creating the sound is called the carrier and the operator modulating the sound is aptly named the modulator. You can then change the volume and the pitch of the modulator and changing the volume of the modulator will make the sound more distorted and add more harmonic overtones while changing the pitch will make the sound more metallic or bell-like. Once you have more than two operators in your sound, you can arrange them in increasingly complex setups. And these setups are called algorithms. Different algorithms, of course, allow for more complex and dynamic sounds. Algorithms are normally displayed as diagrams on your synthesizer. And with some experience, you'll be able to imagine which kind of sounds which algorithm is best suited for just by looking at the setup. All you need to remember for now is the louder the modulator, the sharper the resulting sound. It's kind of the opposite to a subtractive analog synth. Let's begin with a simple sound. I'll start with an empty song, create a new chain and phrase quickly by pressing X and shift and right, and then select the FM synth on the instrument screen by pressing X and right multiple times. On the algorithm line, Hold X and press right until you've reached the last algorithm A plus B plus C plus D. This means all the operators will produce sound. No modulation is happening. On this synth, contrary to the classic 80s FM synths, you can also choose a waveform. So let's change all the operators to saw waves. Now let's detune those saw waves ever so slightly by holding X and pushing right just a little bit. And finally, we can introduce a low pass filter, reduce the cutoff frequency and increase resonance. And now, let's take a look at the envelopes. I want the filter to open up a bit while the note is playing. Press shift and up to go to the envelope screen and let's choose the filter frequency as a destination for envelope 1. And while we're here, let's also choose the same thing for LFO 1. Now go back to the first screen by pressing shift and down and apply some effects and our first sound is done.
For the classic 80s electric piano sound, we need to introduce some modulators. This sound is made from two parts, a high-pitched metallic chime which quickly fades away, and a sine wavy bottom sound which slowly fades away. First, we need to create a new FM synth instance. Do this by creating a new track and phrase and then pressing Y and right on the instrument screen. We also need to lower the volume of all the operators but the first carrier. Then, continue by looking for a suitable algorithm. On the mate, algorithm 7 is what we're looking for, and you can see there are two branches here containing one carrier and modulator each. Remember what I said in the introduction? The secret sauce here is to have a high-pitched modulator and a low-pitched carrier for the chiming sound. So let's increase the ratio and the loudness of the modulator of one of the branches quite a bit, like this. Now we need the sound to quickly fade away, so let's apply a mod matrix entry on the modulator by going to the mod line and selecting level. And now go to the envelope screen, we need to apply one of the envelopes to the mod matrix entry we just created, so it can take control of the modulator's level. Now set up the envelope, so it has a fast attack and a rather quick release, like this. And now with the chiming sound done, let's create the bottom sound. In the other branch, set up both the modulator and the carrier to a ratio of 2. Now, set up the modulator to have a level of approximately 7F, and once again create the mod matrix entry for level. And then again, go to the envelope screen by pressing Shift and Up, and set up the envelope to control that mod matrix entry, and this time we need a fast attack and a long release. And that's it, classic 80s FM piano. Go back to the main screen and apply filters and effects to your liking. Okay, and the last sound for today will be a classic 80s chorus pad. Let's see how they did that back in the day. I'm going to speed through this a bit. And once again, create a new patch and this time we'll choose algorithm number 4. Now you can see three operators modulating one carrier. Now if you listen closely to a human voice, you will notice we use a low sound for creating the actual sound of a voice, but there's also a high frequency forming all the vowels and consonants. Let's try to model that here. The part generating the low sound will be the carrier, and we'll leave it as it is. We then need some frequencies around the 3000 Hz range, and we'll use operator C for that. Increase the ratio to around 35, but decrease the level to around 10. And now we need the part forming the vowels. And we'll use both operator A and B for that. Operator A needs to be double the ratio of operator B, so let's set the ratio to 2 and 1 respectively. Also, operator A needs to be twice as loud as operator B. Now, this already sounds interesting, but we need to introduce some modulation to make this sound more human. So first, insert a mod matrix entry on level on operator A, and then go to the envelope screen. And here we can introduce a tiny bit of pitch and amplitude modulation on the overall sound, and also a slow attack on a first mod matrix entry controlling modulator A's level. We we'll also use the second envelope to slightly reduce the attack speed of the sound, more resembling an actual human voice. And back on the main tab, add a high pass filter with a bit of resonance to the sound so it doesn't become overwhelming and add a healthy dose of effects, for example, chorus and delay. And with that, a chorus pad is done. Now let's assemble these sounds into a short demo track.
As you can see, FM synthesis isn't that hard to grasp, and I think the FM synthesizer in the Mate is really great. Uh, it's very flexible and the concept of tables brings something really new to the table. <laughs> but there are also some things I wish uh, they would implement or add in future updates. For example, uh, fixed frequencies. Um, why is that cool? I have a video uh, here, you can watch that. And um, I think uh, two more envelopes so that each operator can have, have its own envelope would be really cool. All in all, fantastic synth, effects sound nice, and the ability to do wave folding and uh, distortion uh, by just changing the parameters of the amplification is very unique and uh, yeah, really welcome. Yeah, and that's it for today. I hope you found this interesting and useful. And if you did, please consider subscribing to this channel and giving a thumbs up to this video. And as always, thanks for watching and see you again very, very soon. Bye bye.